last lecture we have completed the point that is human female reproductive system and in that we have studied different parts related to external genitalia internal genitalia structure and development of ovary and histology of ovary so all the points related to human female reproductive system we have completed from this human female reproductive system the next point we have to study that is menstrual cycle which is also called as ovarian cycle or which is also called as a female reproductive cycle this menstrual cycle is observing in females on the onset of puberty at the age of puberty this cycle is going to be operated in human females so first of all we have to see the introductory points of this cycle and then we have to study what are the different phases related to this menstrual cycle so here are some introductory points first it is present in monkeys apes and human beings in other animals like monkeys and apes this menstrual cycle is being present as in human beings so this menstrual cycle is present in human beings monkeys and apes during this menstrual cycle what happens to this female reproductive system that is the there are number of changes taking place in the ovary as well as in the uterus so here it involves series of cyclic changes in the ovary and uterus during this menstrual cycle cyclic changes are occurring in ovary and uterus the different hormones which are secreted by our pituitary gland it is responsible for the developmental changes in the ovary and the hormones which are secreted by the ovary are responsible for the developmental changes in the uterus so here these changes takes place under the effect of gonadotropins and the ovarian hormones respectively gonadotropins as we have studied in the control coordination topic the gonadotropins are secreted by our pituitary gland so by the pituitary hormones that is gonadotropins the developmental changes are going to take place in the ovary and the ovarian hormones are secreted by the ovary and which are responsible for the developmental changes in the uterus so here the changes in ovary and changes in uterus are taking place during this menstrual cycle and these hormones are here we can see the hormones fsh lh estrogen and progesterone are responsible for these cyclic changes the gonadotropins here the fsh and lh these are the gonadotropins which are secreted by pituitary gland and this estrogen and progesterone are the ovarian hormones which are secreted by the ovary all these four hormones are responsible for maintaining this menstrual cycle now what are the different phases of this menstrual cycle that we have to study before that there are some points here menstrual cycle starts at the time of puberty mujhe vayat aalyanantar mulincha madhe aplyala hi cycle start zaleli bagale milte and this cycle is repeated in every month and it is about 28 days this menstrual cycle is continued cyclically from one month to second month about 28 days after every 28 days this menstrual cycle is going to be repeated when the menstrual cycle is started in the female body that condition is called as a menarche so here starting of the cycle is called as a menarche and at the age of 45 to 55 this cycle is going to be stopped and this stopping of the menstrual cycle it is called as a menopause mujhe वयात आल्यानंतर ज्या वेळेला ही सायकल स्टार्ट होते त्या पॉईंटला इथे काय म्हणलेलं आहे मेनार्ज म्हणलेलं आहे आणि पंचेचाळीसशे ते पंचावन्न या एजमध्ये ही मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल फिमेल बॉडीमध्ये स्टॉप होते दॅट कंडिशन इज कॉल्ड एज अ मेनोपॉल सो वी हॅव टू रिमेंबर मेनार्ज मीन्स स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल अँड मेनोपॉल मीन्स स्टॉपिंग ऑफ द मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल सो द नेक्स्ट पॉईंट वी हॅव टू स्टडी द डिफरंट फेजेस ऑफ दिस मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल सो हिअर the menstrual phase first is the menstrual phase which is about first fourth day of the menstrual cycle pehle char din sab din phase bagale milte second phase follicular or proliferative phase which is about fifth to 13th day of the menstrual cycle then ovulatory phase 
14th day of the menstrual cycle and lastly here secretory or luteal phase which is 15th to 28th day so here again from uh, after 28th day the first phase is repeated after completion of first phase second phase second phase and the third after third fourth phase after completion of fourth phase again first phase is repeated so here in this way all these four phases are repeatedly occurring during this menstrual cycle now we have to study different phases and related information about those phases so first is the menstrual phase which is also called as a bleeding phase which is present between first day of the menstrual cycle up to the fourth day of the menstrual cycle so what happens during this phase here bleeding through vagina indicates the beginning of this phase means here during this menstrual phase bleeding from the vagina vagina as we have studied the internal genitalia of the female reproductive system it is an opening present in this internal female reproductive system through that vaginal opening bleeding starts why the bleeding is started here because it occurs in the absence of fertilization there is no fertilization of the ovum or egg and therefore that ovum getting degenerated and the endometrial wall which is present in the uterus this also gets degenerated and due to this degeneration of ovum and degeneration of endometrium bleeding occurs through the vagina so here this endometrium of uterus breaks down under the effect of prostaglandins and released due to the decreased level of the progesterone and estrogen so what happens if there is no fertilization of the ovum or egg there is a decrease in the level of estrogen and progesterone in the female body and due to decreasing estrogen and progesterone level there is increase in prostaglandin secretion and due to this prostaglandin secretion the endometrial wall inside the uterus is going to break and therefore the bleeding occurs here and this menstrual flow flow consists of secretion from the endometrial glands cell debris blood and unfertilized ovum kai kai asto tya menstrual flow madhe tar endometrial gland cha break zalele ani te aplyala bagala miltat unfertilized ovum jo ahe to degenerate zalele to bagala milto tyach barobar cell debris patient cha kai kachra ani blood and therefore bleeding shows red colored fluid that is coming outside the vaginal opening and that is called as a bleeding phase so at this stage the endometrium wall of the uterus is going to be break and therefore bleeding occurs so here lack of menstruation may be indicative of pregnancy suppose there is pregnancy conceived what happens there is no degeneration of the ovum and there is no degeneration of the endometrium walls present in the uterus and therefore there is no bleeding and therefore the menstrual cycle is going to be stopped जी ज्या वेळेला प्रेग्नन्सी राहिलेली असते त्या वेळेला प्रोजेस्टेरॉन अँड इस्ट्रोजेन सिक्रेशन इज ॲट इन्क्रीज द लेवल अँड नो सिक्रेशन ऑफ प्रोस्टाग्लँडिंग अँड देअर फोर नो मेन्स्ट्रुअल फेज ऑर नो ब्लिडिंग फेज इज ऑब्झर्व हेन्स मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल इज गेटिंग स्टॉप्ड अप टू दी कम्प्लिशन ऑफ द प्रेग्नन्सी सो हियर द लॅक ऑफ मेन्स्ट्रुएशन इज इंडिकेटिव्ह ऑफ द प्रेग्नन्सी म्हणजे जर मेन्स्ट्रुअल फेज दिसली नाही तर याचा अर्थ आपण काय घ्यायचं आहे की तिथं प्रेग्नन्सी कन्स्यूम झालेली आहे बट हिअर इट मे बी कॉज ड्यू टू स्ट्रेस ऑर पुअर हेल्थ कंडिशन पण काही वेळेस जर अशक्त शरीर असेल म्हणजे व्यवस्थित जर वाढ झालेली नसेल आपल्या शरीराची किंवा खाण्यामध्ये व्यवस्थित नसेल त्या फिमेलचं तर त्या पुअर हेल्थमुळं आपल्याला ही कंडिशन बघायला मिळते म्हणजे तिथं प्रेग्नन्सी असेलच असं नाही ड्यू टू दी स्ट्रेस काही वेळेला तणाव ताणतणाव काहीतरी असतात मुलींच्यामध्ये आणि त्या ताणतणावामुळे हार्मोनल इम्बॅलन्स होतो शरीरामध्ये अँड ड्यू टू दॅट हार्मोनल इम्बॅलन्स ऑल्सो देअर मे बी स्टॉपिंग ऑफ दिस मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल ऑर देअर इज नो मेन्स्ट्रुअल फेज ऑर द नो ब्लिडिंग फेज ऑब्झर्व दॅट मीन्स इट डज नॉट डज नॉट लाईक द प्रेग्नन्सी इज कन्स्युड म्हणजे त्याच्यामध्ये प्रेग्नन्सीज राहिली असल्यामुळं मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल दिसत नाही असा अर्थ होत नाही काही फिमेल्समध्ये पुअर हेल्थमुळे किंवा स्ट्रेस कंडिशनमध्ये दिस मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल इज नॉट ऑपरेटेड मंथ बाय मंथ म्हणजे व्यवस्थित मंथली ही मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल तिथं बघायला मिळायला पाहिजे ती बघायला मिळू शकत नाही 
So here we, we have to understand these points. So here during menstrual flow about 35 to 45 ml of blood is lost. Means this stress phase is occurring in 4 days and during that 4 days about 35 to 45 ml is blood lost from the female body. So uh, due to this condition the females are showing some weak conditions during this menstrual phase and the thickness of the endometrium becomes 1 mm. So due to this menstrual phase the endometrium wall which is present in the inside the uterus that is showing the wall which is having the thickness 1 mm. Endometrial wall is becoming here only 1 mm in thickness. So this is all about the first phase of the menstrual cycle that is bleeding phase or menstrual flame. During this phase the secretion of the progesterone and estrogen is decreased and the prostaglandin secretion is increased that we have to remember the hormonal role during this phase. Now the second phase we have to study. The second phase has two names. First is the follicular phase and second is the proliferative phase which is occurring between 5th day to 13th day of the cycle. In this, this follicular phase is occurring in the ovary and proliferative phase is occurring in the uterus. So here this follicular phase in ovary it is called as ovarian changes and proliferative phase that is called as a uterine changes. Simultaneously the changes are taking place in the uterus as well as in the ovary. First we have to see what changes are taking place in the ovary. So here during this phase the new primordial follicle in the ovary starts developing and due to the action of FSH from the pituitary the primordial follicle starts into developmental changes and this FSH acts on this ovarian follicles that is primordial follicles and these primordial follicles are converted into secondary follicle then tertiary follicle and lastly mature graphene follicle is formed due to the action of follicle stimulating hormone secreted by the pituitary gland. So here in ovary primordial follicle is changes into the graphene follicle that changes are taking place in the ovary and only one follicle develops in one cycle. Means when right ovary develops a graphene follicle next month left ovary develops one follicle. Again third month right ovary develops one follicle fourth one left ovary develops uh, one follicle means eka vedela eka ovary madhun ekas follicle develop hot asto ani ekas mature graphene follicle tayar hot asto he ithe lakshat thevaycha ani the action kutla hormone je hote follicle stimulating hormone work, which is called as a gonadotropic hormone secreted by the anterior pituitary gland that you have to remember for this part so this this is the first phase that is follicular phase now what happens to the uterus that is proliferative phase in uterus or we can call it as a uterine changes it is undergo proliferation means the endometrial wall which is becoming 1 millimeter in thickness that thickness of the endometrial wall is going to be increased during this phase and therefore it is called as a proliferative phase so here estrogen is secreted by the follicular cells of the ovary and it stimulates the endometrial glands means what happens in ovary the follicular cells are present around the follicle and these follicular cells are secreting estrogen hormone and due to the action of estrogen hormone the endometrial glands which are present in the uterus are start to be growing and due to the growth of endometrial glands here it causes the repairing of endometrium and the thickness of endometrium grows about 3 mm in thickness under the influence of estrogen means पहिल्या फेज मध्ये जो 1 mm चा जो एंडोमेट्रियम वॉल राहिलेला होता त्याची इतर जाडी काय केली जाते वाढली जाते 1 mm ची जाडी किती होते 3 mm मध्ये कन्वर्ट केली जाते एंड दिस इज ड्यू टू द ऍक्शन ऑफ एस्ट्रोजेन व्हिच इज सिक्रेटेड बाय द ओवरी सो इन यूटेराइन चेंजेस रोल ऑफ एस्ट्रोजेन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
the repairing of endometrium of the uterus is taking place with the help of the estrogen which is secreted by the follicular cells of the ovary so here in this second phase in ovary ovary changes are taking place primordial follicle is converted into graphene follicle with the help of gonadotropic hormone that is fsh from the anterior pituitary gland and second change in the uterus that is endometrium wall is going to be increased or its thickness is becoming 3 mm in thickness by the uh, hormone estrogen which is secreted by the ovary je ha dusra phase madhe ovary madhe changes hotat graphene follicle tayar hoto ani uterus cha jo atla layer ahe tyacha thickness vadla jato so all these changes are taking place in this second phase now the third phase here uh, before that for follicular phase for the neat exam some important points are there the ovarian and uterine changes are induced by the changes in the level of pituitary and ovarian hormones just we have seen the ovarian changes and uterine changes are taking place with the help of these hormones means pituitary hormones and ovarian hormones so here the secretion of gonadotropin that is lh and fsh increases during follicular phase that we have to remember during follicular phase the level of fsh or lh is going to be increased up and it stimulates the follicular cells as well as secretion of estrogen by the growing follicles so these hormones fsh and lh are also stimulating the follicular cells to secrete the estrogen so here both lh and fsh attain a peak level in the middle of the menstrual cycle that is about 14th day जे बरोबर मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकलचा जो मध्य आहे अठ्ठावीस दिवसांची सायकल बघितली तर मध्य कुठे येणार आहे चौदा चौदा गुणे अठ्ठावीस तर चौदाव्या दिवशी जर बघितलं तर एल एच आणि एफ एस एचं सिक्रेशन अतिशय हाय लेवलला किंवा पीक लेवलला आपल्याला झालेलं बघायला मिळतं सो हिअर दिस बोथ पॉईंट विच आर अंडरलाइंड आर व्हेरी मच इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर द नीट एक्झाम दॅट वी हॅव टू रिमेंबर व्हेरी केअरफुल ओके ना द थर्ड स्टेज हिअर इज ओव्हिलेटरी फेज which is the 14th 14th day of the cycle this phase is occurring during the 14th day of the cycle what happens during this phase it is called as the ovulatory phase means at this stage or at this phase ovulation takes place means mature graphene follicle ruptures and developed a ovum or egg that is called as a secondary oocyte and that is coming outside the graphene follicle and that step is called as ovulation so here the mature graphene follicle ruptures due to the action of lh that is luteinizing hormone secreted by the pituitary that is called as lh surge and ovum is discharged into the abdominal cavity that means in the fallopian tube and this is occurring due to the action of lh that is luteinizing hormone the luteinizing hormone is at the peak level at this middle of this menstrual cycle that is the 14th day of the menstrual cycle during which ovulation occurs mature graphene follicle ruptures and the ovum or egg which is called as a secondary oocyte that is getting released from the ovary and it is coming into the fallopian tube this process or mechanism is occurring during this third phase now the fourth phase here luteal phase or secretory phase luteal phase is occurring again in the ovary and secretory phase is occurring in the uterus so simultaneously in ovary and in uterus these changes are going to be takes place luteal phase that is ovarian changes and secretory phase that is uterine changes these changes are occurring in between 15th day of the मेन्स्ट्रुअल सायकल अप टू दी ट्वेंटी एट डे म्हणजे पंधराव्या दिवसापासून अठ्ठावीसाव्या दिवसापर्यंत ओव्हरीमध्ये काही चेंजेस होतात युटेरसमध्ये काही चेंजेस होतात ओव्हरीमधल्या चेंजेसला ल्युटीएल फेज म्हणलेला आहे आणि युटेरसमधल्या चेंजेसला इथं काय म्हणलेलं आहे सिक्रेटरी फेज म्हणलेला आहे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हॅव टू सी इन द चेंजेस ऑफ दी ओव्हरी सो वॉट हॅपन्स द एम्टी ग्राफिन पॉलिकल डेव्हलप्स इन टू ए येलो बॉडी दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉर्पस ल्युटीएल व्हेन ovulation takes place ovum or egg is released from the graphene follicle that graphene follicle becomes empty je to rikama hoto and that empty graphene follicle is then converted into 
a yellow body structure and that is called as a corpus luteum and this corpus luteum is responsible for secretion of the progesterone hormone which is maintaining the pregnancy so here it acts as a temporary endocrine gland which secretes progesterone for the maintenance of the endometrium this progesterone hormone is responsible for maintaining the endometrium wall of the uterus and which is very much essential to maintain the pregnancy je ha progesterone cha role kay ahe baka ithe jo atla endometrium wall ahe garbhashya cha atla je astar ahe te proper maintain thum कारण जर गर्भ राहिला तर तो गर्भ ही कुठं स्थिरावणार आहे किंवा त्याच्या वाढीसाठी तो गर्भ कुठे येणार आहे युटेरसमध्ये येणार आहे आणि त्याच्यामुळं कॉर्पस ड्युटीम काय करतो इथं प्रोजेस्टरॉन नावाचा प्रेग्नन्सी हार्मोन सिक्रेट करतो इट इज ऍक्टिंग ऍज अ टेम्पररी एंडोक्राईन लेट इट इज प्रेझेंट अप टू थर्ड मंथ ऑफ द प्रेग्नन्सी वेन प्लासेंटाईज फॉर्म दिस कॉर्पस ड्युटीम गेट्स डिजनरेटिंग बट अप टू द थर्ड मंथ ऑफ द प्रेग्नन्सी दिस कॉर्पस ड्युटीम इज व्हेरी मच फंक्शनल अँड इट इज सिक्रेटिंग दी progesterone hormone and here formation of corpus luteum takes place therefore this phase is called as the luteal phase that we have to remember means during 15 to 28th day of the cycle what happens empty graphene follicle converts into corpus luteum corpus luteum is secreting progesterone hormone these are the changes in the ovary now what happens to uterus uh, so here one point remaining if ovum is fertilized the corpus luteum is retained the hormone luteinizing lh and luteotropic hormone lth from pituitary gland helps in the maintenance of the corpus luteum if suppose the pregnancy is conceived then corpus luteum is formed and for the maintenance of corpus luteum again two hormones are secreted by pituitary gland that is lh luteinizing hormone and lth luteotropic hormone this luteotropic hormone it is also act as a lactogenic hormone or it is also acting as a prolactin that we have studied in the hormonal coordination topic so this lh and lth both hormones are responsible for maintaining the corpus luteum when the pregnancy is conceived or fertilization of the ovary ovum is taking place so this point is also important for the neat exam and suppose if ovum is not fertilized then what happens to that corpus luteum when there is no fertilization means where there is no pregnancy this corpus luteum is getting converted into a white scar which is called as a corpus albicans so what happens if there is no fertilization the corpus luteum is degenerates and it forms a white scar म्हणजे तो कॉर्पस ड्युटीम डिजनरेट होतो आणि तिथे एक व्हाईट कलरचं स्कार म्हणजे एक व्हाईट कलरचे चिन्ह तयार होते अँड दॅट व्हाईट स्कार इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉर्पस अल्बिकन सो हिअर आर टू टू कंडिशन फर्स्ट कंडिशन इफ फर्टिलायझेशन ऑकर्स अँड सेकंड कंडिशन इफ फर्टिलायझेशन नॉट ऑकर इफ फर्टिलायझेशन ऑकर कॉर्पस ड्युटीम फॉर अँड इट सिक्रेट्स प्रोजेस्टेरॉन फॉर द मेंटेनन्स ऑफ प्रेग्नन्सी अँड इफ देर इज नो फर्टिलायझेशन कॉर्पस ड्युटीम गेट्स डिजनरेटेड and white scar corpus albicans is formed so this is the ovarian changes now what happens to uterus during this fourth phase so here this is called as a secretory phase or uterine changes because in the uterus the endometrium wall is secreting some secretion and therefore it is called as a secretory phase so what happens here under the influence of progesterone there is increase in the endometrial thickness manje sir प्रेग्नन्सी राहिली असेल तर प्रोजेस्टेरॉन हार्मोन सिक्रेट केला जातो अँड डेट प्रोजेस्टेरॉन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इन्क्रीजिंग द थिकनेस ऑफ द एंडोमेट्री जो थिकनेस तीन मिलीमीटरचा आहे तो जवळजवळ पाच मिलीमीटरचा वाढवला जातो ह्या फेजमध्ये ह्या शेवटच्या फेजमध्ये सो ही आर एंडोमेट्रियल ग्लाइंट्स ग्रो अँड बिकम सिक्रेटरी अँड दे आर सिक्रेटिंग फ्ल्यू रिच इन ग्लायकोजेन फॉर नरिशिंग दी डिवायडिंग मेमरी सो suppose there is pregnancy conceived or the embryo is formed and to nourish the embryo je ta garbhasta anna denyasathi kiwa tela nourish karnyasathi tela vadavnyasathi endometrium wall je wall ahe tithe je glands ahe te endometrial glands kay kele jata tithe vadle jata and they are secreting a fluid which is rich in glycogen because glycogen is the food material source for that dividing embryo so here these endometrial glands are growing very fastly and they are secreting glycogen rich fluid and that is nourished 
to the developing embryo if there is pregnancy occurring. So here these are endometrium walls or the endometrial glands are growing on and they are secreting this glycogen rich fluid and then this progesterone hormone is responsible for the maintenance of the pregnancy. So in this case if pregnancy is occurring the progesterone hormone is playing a rare role for the maintenance of this pregnancy. The ovulated egg gets fertilized, the embryo is implanted, there is secretion of human chorion. What happens you see here? The ovulated egg is supposed fertilizer, the embryo is formed and that embryo is going towards the uterus. Then this embryo secretes a human chorionic gonadotropin that is called as HCG. Always H is written as a small letter and C and G is written as a capital letter. So if suppose there is pregnancy is conceived and embryo is formed, then during this phase, the embryo is secreting this hormone, human chorionic gonadotropin, which extends the life of corpus luteum and stimulates the secretory activity. Means, human chorionic gonadotropin that is called as HCG. What place this hormone? This hormone is responsible for the maintenance of the corpus luteum or for the functioning of the corpus luteum. How human chorionic gonadotropin kai karto? Corpus luteum is functioning kai karto? Continue karto? The secretion chi activity ahi progesterone secretion chi activity ti continue karto? Tamar garbha zo ahi to kavasthi ti to maintain raato ta period madhi. So here, presence of HCG in maternal blood and urine is an indicator of the pregnancy. So during first phase of this pregnancy, how we have to identify either the female is pregnant or not. So during this first phase of this pregnancy, the level of HCG in blood or in urine is increased in the females because the developing embryo is secreting this hormone HCG. Human chorionic gonadotropin hormones are levels of the female body. If you have a blood check, urine check, then you have to check the HCG level. So, if you have a blood check, then you have to check the HCG level. If you have a blood level, then you have to check the HCG level. If you have a blood level, then you have to check the HCG level. If you have a blood level, then you So, here, this level of HCG, when increased in blood or urine, it is indication of pregnancy. And if, suppose, there is no fertilization, what happens? There is no formation of corpus luteum or uh, no secretion of progesterone and then uh, after decreased level of progesterone, prostaglandin is secreted and again the first phase of the menstrual cycle begins that is bleeding phase. Munji kaya uta, zar atha visni wa zhala nantar chaura vay dushi ovulation uta, ta chanantar zar fertilization zhala nahi, ta atha vay dushi ovrend kaya 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 ये चेंजेस तो होता स्टार्ट और फर्टिलाइजेशन नो जाले में क्या होता है कॉर्पस लुटियम नंतर डीजेनरेट होता है कॉर्पस लुटियम डीजेनरेट जाले में प्रोजेस्टरन से सिक्रेशन कमी होता है प्रोजेस्टरन से सिक्रेशन कमी जाले में प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन से सिक्रेशन वाढता है एंड प्रोस्टाग्लैंडिन से सिक्रेशन वाढल उन्हा पहला दिवस है तो मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकल सा एक ते चार दिन सा मधे ब्लीडिंग होता उन्हा पास ते तेरा दिन सा मधे उन्हा ओवरेन चेंजेस होता है यूटेरेन चेंजेस होता है अने उन्हा जब लगे पुष्य अपने लो ओवरेशन जाने लग गए लम्बी तो उन्हा पंद्रह ते तेरे दिन सा मधे उन्हा कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम तैयार denatured or disintegrated and uterine wall also getting disintegrated. So here in this way the menstrual cycles points we have completed. Now we have to see the diagrammatic representation also. So here the phases are given here. The gonadotropin hormone levels in this uh, column. Then ovarian cycle is showing at this second row. Then ovarian hormone levels are in third row and then uterine cycle in, in this fourth and here 
the menstrual cycle phases. So from zero to five, जब पहले दिन सब कुछ पचवे दिन सब पर इतने इतने ज़रूर की बोलते हैं menses का सब नहीं लाया है menses में जो menstrual flow में दिन जो blood आने जी का tissue बाहर टाक कर दो endometrial tissue क्या ला menses में डर दर दो तब वे automatically uterine wall का वो जब तक कमी हो जाती तब अपन को ये तो कमी हो जाती estrogen से level कमी जाने लाया है progesterone से level कमी जाने लाया है यानि तब मेरे endometrial इतने कहीं चेंजेस अपने लोगों के लिए मिलते हैं एफएसए चाहिए लेज कमी आज सेकंड फेज बगैर प्रोलिफरेटिंग फेज है बगैर पास के साउदा दिशा में ले हर हर पुना इनोमेट्रियल वाली तो वाइट लेडी बगैर मिलती है और पुना हर हर प्रोजेस्टेरोन से सिक्रिशन वाड़ता इस्ट्रोजन से सिक्रिशन वाड़ता ए प्राइमरी फॉलिकल से सेकेंडरी सेकेंडरी से टर्शियरी एंड टर्शियरी से इतना मैच्योर प्रोफ़ेशनल फॉलिकल तैयार होता है एंड एट द फोर्टीन्थ डे साउथ अफ़ेक दिशी का उत्तर बगा ओविलेशन प्रोफ़ेशनल फॉलिकल को तो ओविल का उत्तर बाहर पड़ता है तेज़ में लाइक का एलएच जो आए इट्स एकदम हाई Gradually increases pyogenesis. 